Hi, welcome back to my channel Azure Learn. My name is Nagendra Kumar Singhoti and today's topic is all about Azure Bastion. What is Azure Bastion? Azure Bastion is a fully managed service which falls under the category of platform as a service in Azure. This helps provide secure and seamless access to Azure VMs through RDP and SSH connections. And this happens directly through the Azure portal. And this is specially designed and configured to withstand attacks. So let's try to understand with an example scenario. As an admin, usually to get connected to the VMs in Azure, you require a public IP that must be exposed, isn't it? And this is required for each of the VMs that you are trying to either RDP or SSH. And this is undesirable because of potential vulnerabilities. As a solution, usually industry has a practice of using Gempox VM. And this Gempox acts as an intermediary for you to get connected to the Azure VMs. Or maybe in a scenario, if you have a private data center, in your private data center, if you would like to get connected to all those resources, then also you might be having one VM called as a Gempox VM and then keep it as an intermediary for you, okay? So in place of that Gempox, you can make use of Azure Bastion. In case if you do not know what is a Gempox, a Gempox VM, is an Azure VM with a public IP address which is accessible from the internet. And because you connect to Jumpbox VM with RDP on a public IP, the Jumpbox security can be compromised. This is a challenge. And since it's running a server operating system, you will need to keep the VM up to date with patches and other updates. And you may have to configure appropriate NSGs uh, to help secure the network traffic and all. All these are the overheads for you when you use a jump box VM. As an alternate, you can make use of Azure Bastion, which is a ready-made service for you. And here, if you observe the Azure Bastion architecture, let me try to explain you. First, admin connects to the Azure portal and portal connects over a secured connection to Azure Bastion and Azure Bastion initiates a connection to the target VM and the RDP and SSH sessions then opens in a browser on the administrator console. So this is how you can avoid getting connected to the Azure VMs over a public IP. Key benefits being you don't require a public IP to get connected to Azure VM and RDP and SSH directly happening through Azure portal. You no need to apply any NSGs to the Azure Bastion subnet because Azure platform protects against zero day exploits by keeping the Azure Bastion always up to date. To set it up, what are the things that are required? Let's have a look at prerequisites. It requires the reader role on the target VM, the network interface with private IP on the target VM, and on the Azure Bastion resource. And here, you should have a subnet which is named as Azure Bastion subnet. Because Azure Bastion is protected by the virtual networks NSG, your NSG needs to support the following traffic flow. RDP and SSH, TCP port 443, TCP access from Azure Gateway Manager on ports 443 and 443. And on outbound side, TCP access from the Azure platform on port 443 to support diagnostics logging. Now let's get into a quick demo. I have taken up the screenshots ready of the service that I have created so that I can save a lot of your time in showing this demonstration. I am into my Azure portal. Here I have a VM and that VM has got one NIC and there is a public IP associated with that particular NIC 
and this belongs to one particular virtual network and there is an NSG associated with this. Okay. Now, this is the public IP associated with that particular network interface card and RDP is also kept open and that's what I am using currently to get connected to this particular VM. Now we are trying to create Azure Bastion and to do that go to the search box and then type Bastion and then you should be able to see the Bastions option. Select that and you would be into this screen. Click on create Bastion and provide the details like the subscription, the resource group and the name, region, whether the standard tier is required or basic tier is required. Two tiers are there, standard SKU and basic SKU. I have chosen standard and this one helps me to have the Azure Bastion host count ranging from 2 to 50 in case if it's required. So in basic it's not that so I have taken standard and further choose the virtual network and then the subnet here the subnet in case if you do not have you have to get a subnet created with this name Azure Bastion subnet click on manage subnet configuration and click on subnet and provide the name and then the subnet address range click on save for now I'm not giving any tags moving ahead by clicking advanced and here you have an option to opt for native client support in case for RDP and SSH if you would like to uh, enable native client support you can choose this for now I'm moving ahead and once the validation is passed I'm going to click on create and then the Azure Bastion is going to get created it's submitting deployment and deployment is in progress and deployment is complete let's go to resorts here you can see that now the Azure Bastion along with the public IP address is added to my existing resources which were already available so that means here you can see that there are two IP addresses public IP addresses one which was already there with the VM and now with Azure Bastion there is another public IP address now what is that I'm going to do I don't require this public IP address which is there with the VM I would like to disassociate the VM's public IP address this is the one which is there with VM I would go to this and then choose the option disassociate and I'm going to get this disassociated from this VM say yes it's saving the network interface and then it's saved and you can see that there is no public IP address now okay so my VM do not have the public IP address and it has got only the private IP address and I would like to get connected through Azure Bastion to my VM and here you can see that the IP address which is there on the top disassociated and it's standing alone just like that this one now I'm going to VM and then click on connect and choose the option Bastion and enter the username and password click on connect I am there in the server okay if you are finding that the audio is not enabled you can enable this audio by enabling the Windows audio service select any sound and then test it and then if it's okay click on okay and close the dialog box and you are ready this is it for today and give it a big thumbs up if you have liked this video and then found this video helpful and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to stay tuned for all the upcoming videos and thank you for all the subscribers and bye bye please do keep supporting me as always